Hey guys, Dr. Bergman here at Rosemary Jones Chiropractic. Now last week's video we showed how we adjust an infant with Olivia, she's five months old, and, and what that process looks like. Now this week's video we're going to talk about why someone that young would need to be adjusted or even, even older if they're four or five or ten or eleven. Um, why, why chiropractic adjustments would be beneficial to them. So if we start at the beginning, we think of the birthing process. Uh, we've got the most amazing doctors in the world doing that in our country. Uh, but if, if you think that twisting, turning, pulling, grabbing uh, to deliver that child, things can become uh, restricted or misaligned or not function like they, they should uh, be through, through that process. So we can see symptoms come up in infants where they can't tell us what's wrong, but we can see it like colic or ear infections or they spit up a lot or they have a hard time digesting. They're not going to the bathroom as much as they should or they're going to the bathroom way too much. Those are all things that we see in our infant population. Uh, once they start to get a little bit older, once they are, are one, two, they start to crawl, walk, that, that's when we really want to check, on, check with the hips, the pelvis, the low back, make sure everything's developing properly because if they, if they develop a pattern when they first start to learn, that pattern's going to be pretty normal to them and it's going to be hard to try to break that pattern. So we want to make sure that everything's developing normally at that young age, at that milestone. Now once they get to be three, four, or five, they become much more rambunctious, active, they're jumping on and off things, they're, they're um, pretty active and, and that's when we want to make sure that something doesn't occur at that point um, that can cause that. At that age, they're, they're pretty well potty trained so we may be looking, okay, are they wetting the bed even though they're still potty trained? We still want to check digestion, feeding, are they going to the bathroom like they should? Um, those ages, it's, it's still important for that as well. Now when they get to kind of the 6 through 10 range where they're in school, they're, they're more active, they could be uh, in sports or activities, those, the, that's when we really want to start checking their spine more to make sure they're developing properly and everything's functioning like it should. Uh, so each milestone that they hit or when they start to go through these milestones it's important for us to look and see okay is everything functioning or developing like it should because at such a young age you're developing uh, you're developing so quickly that your body can get into a pattern that may not be a great pattern uh, if, if it's allowed to do so so it's important for us in the office to see kids and to, to adjust kids if something's going on because a lot of times we can prevent something from becoming an issue in your 20s 30s and 40s if we can catch it soon enough so it, no matter what age your your child is it's never bad to get them checked especially if they are having some of those symptoms I will reference you back to my merit chart video and I'll, I'll put a link on that with this video as well to click on that and take a look because kids can have a lot of those symptoms that a lot of times people don't think that chiropractic care can help with so take a look at that and if your child has any of those symptoms you would absolutely love to, to help them so if, if you've got any questions let us know Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'm Dr. Dave Bergman at Rosemary Jones Chiropractic.